did my finishing touches, but getting the minutes, you know, trying to get in like 30 seconds to a minute earlier. I probably should give you a couple more minutes than that because, you know, it takes a minute for me too. So I thought, I said on Saturday that maybe we'd do stations, but I thought about it and I thought, well, 4x4 four four and stations are pretty similar. And 4x4, four four, you don't have to run around as much and move things. So we're going to do a 4x4 four four today. I know how much you guys like that. I think we've been enjoying the uh, more challenging workouts. So I know we're going to phase three tomorrow and no gyms are still not included. No, we don't even know that we'll be back when classes probably won't even start once they open the gym. It'll probably still be a while. So like I've been saying, we're still here. We're still together. We got each other. So that's all we need for right now. And we'll stay home and we'll stay safe and we'll stay together. So um, let's start out real quick by finding our pulse in our wrist or our neck and start counting now. And stop. So there's your beginning number. Stella's gonna come on over and say hi real quick. She probably won't stick around because she'll go upstairs where her, bed, her comfy bed is. Um, but we'll get started and let me make sure I got everything hooked up for the music. And I do. That's awesome. See, she got excited too. Tail started to wear. Don't jump off. Ready? Step touch. Little Doobie Brothers. Double step. Great vine. With a knee. Around the world arm. I want to put the phone down. She's right there. Step touch. Knees up front, pull it down. Hamstring, reach in, reach in, pull. Knees up front, pull it down. Hamstring. Knees up front. Hamstring. Two knees up front. Two hams, two knees, two hams, two knees, two hams, last time, center squat. That's how she's going to do the whole video. Reach for the floor, right hand, left hand. If you can get to the floor, great. May stay behind the toes, add the overhead extension. Floor to ceiling. Pulse it down right here, a little pulse. Widen your stance. Toes stay straight up front so you're not turned out. You're not turned in. Lunge side to side. Knees still behind the toes. And reach across the body. Up overhead. Out in front, reach it. By your toes, reach. Stay down here for four more. You can touch the toes, that's a bonus. Or whatever, or eight more. Across the body. Up overhead. Out in front. By the toes, out in front, up high, in front, down low, in front, up high, in front, down low, wide squat, center squat, down and out. Two more. Pulse it down, little pulse. Hands on your quads. Stay here. 
Round your back. Release it. Round your back. Release it. Round your back. Roll it up. Feet together. Shoulders back. Elbows back. Arms back. Great big deep breath. Okay, you're going to get a drink of water. So we're not going to do our regular cardio because the cardio is built into the 4x4. Four four. So we're going to start with our weight. So it goes arms, legs, abs, cardio. Arms, legs, abs, cardio. Four different exercises, one minute each. That's the 4x4. Four four. Three rounds. So four by four by three. So we're going to start with bicep curls for the first minute. So the bicep curls, you have soft knees, your elbows are pinned, and you're here. You can alternate. We're going to start at the top of the minute so that I don't lose track. So if you need water, your water. You have about seven seconds. Otherwise, you won't be able to keep track. Ready? Turn them out. Curl and down. So all the way up, all the way down. You don't have to stay with the pace of the music. You can be here. You can be to the beat. You can alternate. You can pyramid down in the weight. If you need to pyramid down, you can take it into prayer. Whatever works for you. First round that we're gonna stay with these. You got 30 seconds. So you guys keep doing that. I'm going to premiere the next exercise. You're going to end up with a wide stance, and we're going to do those sumos. So your option is to keep the weights in your hands. you got 15 seconds. Breathe it in, breathe it out. Get those hands open. We're going to take that wide step out. Give me one more bicep curl. Wide step out. So you're going to reach down and tap the floor. So again, if you want to put the weights down, put them down, stay with that wide stance. So your knees stay behind your toes, you push it back, you squeeze as you come up. Push it back, squeeze as you come up. If you have the weights, again, pace is up to you. Sharpshooting pain always means stop what you're doing. Dull, agonizing, Muscle pain. <sighs> Work through it. I haven't said it in probably three months. You know what I'm thinking. I've been trying to be a softer, kinder Dawn. But you know the deal. Suck it up, Buttercup. Let's go. You got five more seconds. You're going to bring the feet together. Take it side to side. So this is our ab work for this one. So we'll probably use a chair for at least one of the rounds. So if you don't have a chair by you now, when we take our break, you can grab a chair. But we don't have a break for a while. Again, same rules apply. If you need a break, take a break. We're gonna take it to four pulses. Four, three, two, one. Switch. And switch. And switch. And switch. And switch. And switch. Singles finish off. Seven seconds. We're gonna go into jumping jacks. We're gonna put the weights down. You ready? Weight's right in front of you. Step back. So we know level one is here. Otherwise, you're here. Pace is up to you. We're here for a whole minute. So to make it fun, I'll try and distract you. Give me a quarter turn. Eight more here. Face me. Again, you can be here. Or here. Quarter turn, other way. Eight more. Face 
face me and finish here. So we're gonna go right back to the bicep curl. You can change the direction this time if you want to. Ready, set, pick up the weight. So your option, you come into wide buys, you can do one in, one out. Just watch your hands. Heart rate's up, yes? It should be. You can stay here. Make sure you exhale on the work. So exhale up, inhale down. Halfway there. Now you can do one in, one out. You can do one arm. Whatever works for you. You got 10 seconds. Yes, you can. Woo! Wide stance. Stay here. You ready? Three, two, sumo right here. So down. If you want that little extra bonus, draw it up. That's up to you. Not necessary. You can do no weights at all. Make sure you're pushing that back. You can use your elbows to tap in front of your knees to force you back into position. Don't do that. It's not this. It's here. Woo! 25 seconds. You can go to this three-point stance. Keep it up. 15 seconds. Ten seconds. If you put your weights down, pick them up. Give me one more. Come center. Side to side. So what we're going to do, if you have the weights on the floor, keep them on the floor. If you have two weights, put one down. Free hand. Over. Over. No weight in that hand. If you don't have that range of motion, stay right here. Up and over, right here. Four, three, two, other side, here we go. Big reach. Try and get it. So make sure that the shoulders stay over the hips. You're not leaning forward. You're here. Four more in four. In three, in two, switch side. Four, three, two, ready, put the weight down. Jumping jacks. Nice and easy. You can be here. Ooh. I feel confident enough in the direction we're heading that I tried cutting sugar out. So we'll see how they go. Say quarter turn. Face me. You can be here. You don't have to do all the jumping. I'm going to say don't make me do all the jumping. Quarter turn. If you need a break, take a break. Face me. You got five seconds. Power through it. You ready? Last run, let's go. Okay, so this time we're gonna do hammer curls. All the way down, all the way up. You can alternate. See how I have my thumb up? Thumb is up to release the death grip. I know, I have junkyard weights. Woo! Nice and easy. You can be doing double-double. Just make sure you're here. Elbows are pinned. You're not here. Arms aren't out. That's taking it into the back. We want to be right here. I'm going to alternate. Woo! Yeah, we've been kicking up the intensity lately. We're going to come out of this physically stronger, emotionally stronger. Woo! 
mentally stronger. Five more seconds. Give me one more each side. Take that wide step out and squat. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to slow them down. So you're here or you're reaching. We're going to slow it down. We're going to take them down for two. After this one, ready down for two. So it's halfway, tap the floor, halfway, come back. Halfway, touch the floor, halfway, come back. So when do you exhale? On the way back up. That's where you're working. So inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Again, inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, singles to finish. By your side, here we go. You see me looking at the clock, Donna? We all have to thank Donna. She made sure I had a clock. Big enough, with numbers big enough that I can see. And right here. A lot easier than trying to look at my tip in. We don't have clocks really in my house. We have watches, we have an alarm clock, we have the stove and the microwave. Four pulses. Other side. Other side. Maybe I'll get a big one for the dining room. Switch. Uh -huh. And switch. And switch. You ready? Single side to side. We're going into that last set of jumping jacks in five seconds. Three, two, one. Weights down. Let's go. Nice and easy. Pace is up to you. Jump is up to you. Give me a quarter turn. There's a break coming up. Work through it. Face me. Quarter turn. I'm going to go to the toe tap. Face me. 20 seconds to that break. Work for it. Make it worth it. Woo. 10 more seconds. Yes, I can. Three, two, one. You got one minute. Enjoy it. I'm getting a chair out, so if you uh, need to get a chair now, get a chair now. We're going to start, start with a bent over row. So you don't have to be on the chair. We got plenty of time. Don't worry. Don't worry. But you can use the chair, and you're going to be here. If you want to double up your weight, you can. 30 seconds on one side. So I'm going to put the chair over here so I can see the clock. And I'm just going to go from the 30 seconds here. I'm just going to go over to the other side of the chair. So, so that you know. We got 10 seconds. I'm going to grab a tissue. Hey, okay, you ready? Okay, knee on the end of the chair, hand on the front of the chair. Pull it right to the bra line. Keep that back nice and flat. My head's cut off, huh? Okay. So here, or you can be here. If you want to do both arms, you can do both arms. If you want to do both weights, you have both weights here. Just make sure you keep that nice flat back and you're not going too fast. Now we're going to take it to the other side. Same rules apply. Hand is down here. Flat back and pull. You can have both weights. If you want to do one lighter weight, because maybe 20 pounds is too much, but 15 pounds is just right, then do that. I'm going to push this 
chair back. You got five seconds. You're gonna come up with one weight, and you're gonna pendulum. So one weight, you're gonna come down, keep a nice flat back. Bring it down, bring it up. Or, your foot's here, nice flat back, nice flat back. Down and up. Back is flat. Or you're here. No matter which one you're doing, your back stays flat. If that chair is too high, come off the sofa. Ready? Other side. Switch leg. Sofa's lower. Two times lower. Flat back. Body stays nice and square. So you're not thinking about getting the weight to the floor. You're thinking about bringing that chest to the leg. Chest to the leg. Couple more. Flat back. Chairs out. Sit down. One knee in, other knee in. Or both in, tap. In, tap. You can lean back. Again, couch is lower. So if you're on the couch, probably a little bit easier. You don't have Sally. She got a bath the other day. Remember I told you? She did. She was so happy. She was not happy. Woo! See, she just told you. She wasn't happy, were you, Stella? Now, if you want to do one over the dog, one under the dog, one over the dog, one under, you can stay at one leg. I know, I said your name. You got 15 seconds. One, two, double, double. You got your chair out? This is one of my new favorite thing. Ready? This is what you're gonna do. Ready? Musical chairs. Ready? Run around the chair. Really mess with Stella. Sit down. Get up. Run around the chair. Sit down. Stand up. Run around the chair. Or walk back. Make sure you know where everything is on your floor. Don't trip over anything. Sit down. Stand up. Hug it around. Woo How about we go the other way? Oh, that's really going to mess up your equilibrium. And Stella. Sit down. Take it around the chair. If you just want to march in place because you think I'm nuts, go ahead, march in place. Or jump in place. I'm just trying to make the minute go by faster. Sit down, stand up. Ooh, 10 more seconds. That's a race. Sit around one more time. One more time. All the way around. Come back, pick up one way, two ways. Lean or no lean. Pull. Back is flat. So from below the chair, right to the waist. Exhale as you pull back. This is not obvious. Five more seconds. Ready to switch sides? Take it to the other side. Ready, set. Flat back. Pull it in. Pull it in. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. You can be here. Just make sure if you're here, that you're not letting the body rock. You're not bringing it around the body. You want to lean on the chair here. You can. Find what works for you. Five more seconds. Option on the chair, on the couch, or on the floor. Lower it down. Bring it up. Make sure your hips are staying square. And up. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. So you should feel hamstring and glute. Keep that back flat. Keep looking at me. Right here. I know. Here, look at the clock. Stay here with me. Give me one more this side. Switch legs. Chair, couch, or floor. Down, flat back. If you don't want to use the weight, you can stay here. Touch the floor, come up. Touch the floor, come up. Just keep that back nice and flat. We got 10 more seconds. Again, we're going slow. 
How about this, the last one? Come up. Set that weight down. We're here. In and out. In and out. Or one, then the other. So let's add a little direction. We're going to take the feet over to one side, then the other. Up, up and over. Up and over. So if you have the back of the chair to you, start with on one side of the legs, bring it up and over to the other side. Like there's something underneath you, and you don't want to touch it with your feet. Up and over. You can do one leg, other leg. Still working. 15 seconds. 10 more seconds. You don't have to go that fast either. And you can be here or here, center. Give me two more. Give me one more. Run around that chair. Ooh. Have a seat. I know, I should stop the music every time I do that. Musical chairs. We have to be children sometimes. If you're me, more times than not. Come on. Sit down, ready? In 30 seconds, we're gonna take it the other way. Take it the other way. Sit down, stand up. Remember, you can be here or here. You don't have to run around your chair. Because your dogs are getting excited because you're running around. Just run in place. Or your cats. I don't know if your cats are whacking you every time you walk by. Seems like a cat thing to do. If Allie were here, she would be barking at me. Come on up, grab that weight. And I would have to put her upstairs. Stella got bored with us, and she went upstairs. Keep that back nice and flat. So pull it in, press it down. Again, weight is up to you. If you're feeling pain, just go to the range of motion. Make sure you're really grabbing and pulling at the air, otherwise. Use the weight and switch sides. It's the same rule to apply, flat back. If you want to put the extra weight in, pick up the extra weight. Pull in, press down. We got 10 more seconds. This is the last time we have to do this. Come on up. I'm going to give you an option. You can put that one foot up, or you're going to pick up both weights, and you're just going to give me a nice slow deadlift. So nice and slow. And come on up. So if you are uncomfortable with a one leg at a time, stay on the double double for this last minute. Otherwise, we know. One leg can go back. Come on up. If you've been on one leg, switch legs now. So have it on the chair, have it on the couch, or you're here. Nice and slow, back stays flat. So when you're keeping the back flat, I want you to think about somebody's got a rope around your shoulders and you're pulling against that rope, and then back up. How about five more seconds? Okay, sit down. Last time with these chair abs, in and out. In and out. Or here. Or here. Or any combination. You can do center, center, right to left, right to left, center, center, right to left, right to left. Again. Whew, that's challenging. I'm gonna come here. How about right side, left side? You can sit up. It's easier here. It's that easy. You're still using your core. Center right here. Right, left, right, left again. 
One more time, right, left, right, left. Run on the chair, you got one minute. One minute till break. Oh, sit down. Up, turn around that chair. I'm gonna stay here. I'm just gonna march, I'm just gonna jog. You guys keep doing that. I'll tell you when it's halfway and you go the other way. I get a whole minute of running in place and falling. That's why we were doing that. But, if you have a limited amount of space, okay, go the other way. If you have a limited amount of space, this might be your best option. Run around. Run around. Sit down. Plus, it makes all the people scrolling through Facebook wonder what we're doing. And they'll either join us or they'll say, oh my gosh, what is that coop doing now? That's the worst. They call me. I'm having a good day. Ready? Three, two, one. Get a drink of water. Oh, keep the feet moving. Keep the feet moving. You don't want your heart rate to come down too fast. So we're going to be in triceps. So you have some time. Use it. Get a drink of water. And that is not Nirvana. 30 seconds. So I'll show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna do our kickbacks and we're gonna alternate. I'm gonna add that little rotation. If you don't have that rotation, so from the back, keep these up, back to here. So what I don't want is this. Okay, ready? Both weights are one weight at a time. Tricep kickback. Just here to start. If you wanna use the chair and you wanna lean, you can. Now add that little rotation. So rotate, set on top of the leg, rotate on top of the leg. Rotate, rotate. So that's singles. You can be at doubles. If the music is too fast, you don't have to stay with the beat. You stay with what works for you. Just don't swing it. We're not trying to get momentum. It's not this. It's here, here, or double, double, keep it going. Don't tell me you don't like the backs of your arms and then not want to put the work in. Four, three, two, one. We're gonna set them down. You can hold on to them. I'm gonna curtsy, side to side. So if you wanna have the weight, you can take it side to side, one weight, or both weights, both weights down by your feet. So make sure that you are staying straight. What does that mean? You're not doing this. It's not that. Some of you don't think you're doing that. Some of you are. So turn the camera back on you and look at it. See if it's you. If you want to use a guide, use your hand. So the leg that comes back, that arm, tap the inside of your knee. So it's really hard to tap the inside of your knee if you're opening your hips up. So here. So we're gonna go to plank. If you can't be in plank, you're gonna give me a side to side. Hold on, hold on, not yet. Keep doing the curtsy. Or you can plank off the chair. So plank or plank off the chair. So down here. So if you can't be on your elbows or on your shoulders. You're just going to be here, side to side. So plank off the chair. Bring an arm up. Reach down, reach up. Reach down, reach up. So again, keep doing that. If you're here, you can add a little pulse. So if you're here, switch elbow. Take it to the other side. Reach up. Come on down. Reach up. Come down. I want to keep watching you. So I'm going to stay here. So what's going to happen next? It's going to be mountain climbers. 
So if you can't be down there on your elbows still, you know where you're going. Ready? Here, here, or you're down here on your elbows. Run it up. Or bring your hands up, and you're here. So run it out. Here, level one. Level two. Level three. On the chair or on the floor. You can be here. Make sure you're breathing. And make sure that you're not here. So you're not here. If I do that, I'm going to push the chair up from underneath me. So your hands are underneath your shoulders. You can be here. You have 20 seconds. Yes, you can. I'm going to come up so I can watch the clock. So here, here. If you need it back, to bring it to here to get your heart rate stabilized, bring it here. You ready? Wait. Yes. Two more rounds. You're almost there. Yes, you can. Come on. One side, then the other. Or both. Just make sure you're not swinging, not this. If you feel your body rocking, you're using momentum. So what I want you to think about, nothing moves except that elbow bending. That's all that moves. You're the tin man and you need oil for the rest of your body. All you can do is ask for oil right there. You're almost there, power through it. 20 seconds. You can count them down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You're going to curtsy. Weights or no weights. Ready? Curtsy side to side. Keep the chest up and back. Hips are square. Lots of direction here. Because I want you here, I don't want you here, or here, here. Nice and square. You got your headlights on each hip, and they're shining in front of you. So you're not trying to look around the corner. Nice and easy. If you want to go slower, go slower. If you have the weight, make sure you're keeping the chin up and you're not letting that back round out. Ten more seconds, a couple more. Remember where we're going? Plank is right. Turn around, floor, or side to side, or here. So you're on your elbows. Your back is flat, so you're not here, and you're not here. Somebody's doing this, I know you are. So here, ceiling, bring the elbow down. If you want to switch sides every side, think about ceiling, chair, ceiling, chair. Otherwise, you're here. Keeping that body square, just the elbows coming around. So we're still working the oblates. They're still reaching out that plank, right? Or well, you're on the floor. You're on the floor. Same thing. Up. Up. Okay. Five seconds. And in a mountain climbers. Here is fine. Here is fine. Moving. No matter what. Whatever works for you, what keeps you moving for the cardio? Whatever works for you, you do. You want to be here? That's just what I'm doing. It's a minute of cardio. Whatever you want to do. We just want to be even. If you want to go in and out, you can go in and out. Side to side, in and out. Whatever you want to do. On the floor, forward and back. Side to side. 15 seconds. See what strength did you? Come on, keep it going. Nice and high with the knees if you can. I know. 
Me too. Me too. Ready for that last set? Last set, best set. Ready, set? Pick up the weight. Last set, best set. Let's go. Back, extend. Extend. So we're going to slow it down. Back for three, come down for one. So it's three, two, one. Ten men. We're all the ten man. Elbow, elbow, and down. Other side, elbow. Keep going. And down. One more time each side. One more like that. Back for one, come down for three. Back, three, two, one. Other side, back. Other side. Other side. Singles, finish this. Finish this. Oh, you ready? Side to side. Papa was a rolling stone. Ooh, or no weight. And you're here, reaching. Side to side, hips are square. Make sure you're breathing it out. Thirty seconds, and then no more curtsies. Yes, you can. Working through this. We've been outside getting vitamin D, playing all our flowers, going for walks. Woo. Now we just gotta fit into our clothes. Kind of the most important part, right? We can go out to dinner if we can fit in our clothes. Okay, you ready for those plays? If you want to do the light weight, you can do one side. Weight, down. Weight, you don't have to. That's just giving you an option. Try not to let your body twist too much. So, remember, we know, here, you can't be on your elbows or on your shoulders. You want to be on the floor, on the floor is here to here. So you take your time. Pace again, it's up to you. What works for you, what you can do with proper form. So if you can't do it, unless you slow down to quarter speed, but you can do it at quarter speed, do it at quarter speed. I'm talking. Five more seconds. I know. There's a cop on. Last minute, let's go. Mountain climbers, ski jumps, in and out. On the floor, same thing. Forward and back. Ski jumps. Mountain climbers. Just think, 45 seconds. Work through this, 45 seconds. Almost there. Get those knees up. Shoulders are back. Buffalo's got the spirit. We're talking proud. 30 seconds, finish line. This is the last 30 seconds. Come on. Woo. And the music starts to mellow up. Go on, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. In, out, side to side. In and out, side to side. Okay, come on, five seconds, five seconds, come on. Yes, you can, come on, come on. Three, two, one, you did it. March it out. How do you feel now? You said you couldn't, and then you did. You are my rock stars. Step touch right here. So proud of all of you. You stayed with it. You stayed with me. I know, I miss you all. Give me an elbow back. Yes, we need to stretch some upper body. No stretching in that whole 36 minutes. So now we gotta stretch it out. Come on down and lunge it side to side. We'll do this. Like you're in pulse fiction. 
you don't have to do that. Come center, right? Big deep breath. Press it out front. Oh, that feels good. We'll work the back hard. Fingertips back. Press it out. Other side. Press it out. Bring the hands wide. They face behind you. Draw it back. So you want to have your shoulders up into your neck. You're down here. Up and over. Reach between the shoulder blades. Other side. And we're just going to get down on the floor. We're going to do some push-ups. I'm going to move the chair out of the way. You know the option if you want to use the chair for push-ups because you like them more that way or they're easier for you or they're easier on your neck and back. Whatever your reason. Sometimes it's a reason, it's not an excuse. So as long as it's a reason and not an excuse, do what works for you. We're going to take it to modified push-ups. Oh, don't worry, I only got a couple more minutes to torture you. So modified push-up. If you want to be in plain old push-ups, make sure you're here, back is flat. Otherwise, level one can be here, down and up. Level two, you cross at the ankle, hands are wide, down and up. Nice flat back, this is too loud, right? My face. Keep going. Keep going. Four, three, two, one. Press back. Line up. Give me ten more. So again, level one, level two, level three. I'm going to start here. Level one. Down and up. You are still working hard here. If you can't be on your wrist, you're doing bench presses. Down and up. Give me four more. Give me one more. Press back. Okay, we got plenty of time. One more set. One more set. Yeah, some glistening. My makeup people came and sprayed. They sprayed some glisten on me. Okay, you ready? Last ten. Ready? Let's go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Keep that head up. You don't watch me. Bad form. Did it again. Give me two more. Give me one more. And press all the way back. All the way back in the child pose. Okay, you're going to stay back in child pose. Whew, heart rate is up. Okay. So here in child pose. Take the right arm, lace it underneath the left arm, drop the shoulder into the mat. Come center, other side. Come center. Come to tabletop. So hands are underneath your shoulders, knees are right underneath your hip, their hip distance apart. Cat stretch your back. Release it. Cat stretch your back. Release it. Draw the right knee up front. Slide that back leg back. Leg crosses over the body. Bring the elbows down. Yes, we're doing these again because my hip's still bothering me. Hands 
on the mat. You're going to just walk that knee in a little bit. Bend the leg. If you can, reach back for that leg. Look over the shoulder. See how I'm not on top of my knee? So I'm not here. Top of the leg, knee down here, so it should be easy on your knee-ish. Release that. Slide the leg over. Knee by knee. Other knee comes forward. Crosses over. Slide that back leg back. Bring the elbows down to the mat. See if you can get the forehead down. That's a bonus. Hands on the mat. Walk that back leg in a little bit. Reach back. Again, hand outside the foot. Open up the chest. You're going to release this. This leg here is going to swing all the way around and you're going to lie it down. Stretch it out. Arms long overhead. Great big long pencil stretch. Right hand grabs the left wrist, just pull that arm a little longer overhead. So if we did this right, you should feel your obliques tomorrow. Take it to the other side. What does that mean for you? You might feel like, oh, I think I might have, I don't think I hurt myself, but I, I don't know, I did something in my back. I feel something in my back. Probably your obliques. Probably. From center. Draw the right knee into the chest, hold it nice and tight. Left knee comes up to me, just give me a little rock side to side. So let's give those obliques and that back a little stretch. You're going to take both knees to one side, arm to the other side, look down the arm past the fingertips. Bring it back to center, again gentle rock side to side. And take it to the other side, arms. Long behind you, look down the arm, past the fingertips. And center. Bottom of the feet together, push the knees out. And release that, walk it out. Let the hands drop down by your side. Relax the neck. Relax the shoulder, release the tension from the jaw, and just breathe. Every time you inhale, you feel your chest rise to the ceiling. Every time you exhale, you feel that belly button come all the way down through the body onto the floor. Deep breath in. Next breath in through the nose, hold it, exhale through the mouth, inhale through the nose, hold it, exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Hold it. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale. Hold it. One last time. Inhale. Hold it. Exhale to the mouth. Return to your regular breathing pattern in through the nose, out through the nose.
Next deep breath in. On the exhale, give the fingertips a little wiggle. Inhale. On the exhale, open the eyes. Give the toes a little wiggle. Deep breath in. Draw the right knee into the chest. Hold it there. Exhale. Deep breath in. Left knee comes up to meet it. Exhale. For a big deep breath in. Exhale. Rock the body up. Bring it to straddle stretch. Crazy hair. The ponytail wasn't working when I was laying down. That sounded so loud, but it's just because it was by my head. So I'm sorry if you couldn't hear it. You can hear me, though. Okay, flat back, hands on the floor. So I haven't been out into the world today, but I did see that there's lines of people at TJ Maxx. Can't wrap my head around that. Yesterday, bring both hands to one foot. Yesterday we were driving through, we stopped at BJ's to get gas, and um, we went golfing. So we were outside, and on a beautiful day, it was perfect. Um, but we stopped at BJ's to get gas, and there were people standing in line at Burlington, <coughs> thinking this is how to get to the other side. How desperate people are to be out of their house, they're willing to stand in line, longer lines than Christmas shopping. One hand on each foot. I'll just wait here. Y'all let me know when the craziness is over. One foot to the inner thigh. Leg extended. Watch that knee. Don't hyperextend it. Flat in the back. Bring it towards the leg. If any of you guys win that line, you gotta let me know what you got. Foot up and over. Look over the shoulder. Take it down onto the hip. Stack the knees, stack the hips. Some other services are opening tomorrow. So, sit up, other side, foot to the other thigh. You know, we talk about self care and we know how important self care is. I believe that our masseuses will be back in service, so that's good. And our nails, so Arissa will be doing nails. Again, foot up and over. So I believe that Linda, who's been doing videos for us, I believe she also has a salon. I'm, I'm unfamiliar, but I will get details so that I can help. You know, I want all of our all of our supporters. We support them too. Down on our hips. Your hip, you can't be on my hip, that would be weird. So you're not here to stop me from babbling. Come center. You're gonna cross the feet. One foot in front, other foot behind. Find your pulse in your wrist or your neck. Start counting now. talk about it. Switch your feet. So how is that number? Is it good? Is it lower than it was when we started? Hopefully it's the same or lower. Not so low that you feel lightheaded when you get up. Okay. See your Y. Push it forward. Roll it up. Head's the last thing to come up. Shoulders back. Elbows back. Arms back. For a big deep breath, we've been super lucky with our connection lately. I'm starting to really think that it had to do with how much power, take it to the other side, how much power it took for the phone to do that. So since I've been plugging it in and having the phone plugged in the whole time, for a big deep breath, it seems to be working for us. So I'm not gonna curse it. I waited till we were done before I even said anything. But yay, uh, get outside, go for a walk right now. Like, well, you're still warm, your body's still warm. Take a quick walk around the block. Get a couple extra steps in. Besides that, hydrate. Have a great night. We'll be back Wednesday night. If you need me, you know where to find me. Go out there and be good.